ineffaçable. Arrivé là, celui-là, c'est quasiment certain que, Baby ben, que Ben et Bob Bryan sont une seule et même personne. Ok, vous ne pouvez pas esquiver les balles quand vous utilisez une Gatling ou une... Et Charles. Après mon showdown avec Jesse, j'ai continué à traquer son frère, Frank, et ce son de bitch Jim. J'ai suivi ces bastards dans les hautes mountains comme ils étaient allés au ground. Quelles mountains seraient ce que Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. A perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Indians? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but... There was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. T'es sûr, vaut mieux pas que tu restes sobre pour continuer à. C'est là où on avait tiré tous les Indiens avec le. Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. Darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. So, did you ever find him? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Won't you spare me over till another year? What is this that I can't see with ice cold hands? Taking hold of me Well, I am dead None can excel I'll open the door To heaven or hell Oh, dead Oh, dead Won't you spare me over Till another year oh, C'est beau. Oh, So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. 
Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was gonna stop me. But nothing was nothing. It? Nothing wasn't gonna stop me. Oula, sniper Winchester. Frank James. I finally did track those outlaws like down. Gone. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. Uh, well, yeah, well, I can't see shit. Yeah, well. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. Come on out, you coward. <laughs> He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Hell, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers. Fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? No. It was retribution. Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. That right. Son of a bitch. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. Come here. Shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? <laughs> I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will. At this point, I just don't give a shit. I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Eh ben c'est cool, comme quoi c'est pas que...
ce n'est pas que de la vengeance, c'est aussi un peu de justice, vu que celui-là il a laissé en vie alors que il aurait plutôt, plutôt aussi bien pu l'achever, comme tout le reste. So what happened with me? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts, as I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. C'est quand même. But rather than wander in willy nilly. I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive <laughs> woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! Oh, J'ai baisé ta femme. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Hey, did I say that? Please kill him. Pain if you're gonna fire. The moment you start to block kill with the. Là, je vais tirer des deux jambes sans le toucher. Ah, ils essayent d'éviter les balles aussi. Eventually, it was just me and Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Duck, you sucker! J'aurais dû éviter la balle. Hop là, moi je l'ai évité. Pay him, I did. Bon, c'est pas le plus rapide du tout, mais ça fera l'affaire. C'est à la loyale. C'est fait. Plus de points Ah non. C'est vrai que Jim Reed. Deceased. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty bait. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. And they're gonna pay for what they did to me and my brothers. It is certain that Ben the Barman et l'homme qu'il recherche. 40 years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Yeah, ce que je veux c'est le 
et voir. Merci. Ça c'est bon. Bon, je crois que la carabine, ça sera plus un. Ok ici. Voilà. Allez, le temps que vous tombiez. Oh, Johnny je Ringo et Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one, Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. Et y en a combien For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends, no purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. Could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. Here I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling apart. Just like me. <laughs> Town was falling apart, just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. But you obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here telling us the tale. Ouh, bah non, j'ai pas prevail tant que ça. Hein. Ah, tuer le vieux. Ils ont des kills. 
kill that old timer. Non, Mikelix c'est toujours comme ça qu'ils appellent les vieux. But you obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here telling us the tale. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, and there, and even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a-blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. Shotgun tout près, ça pardonne pas. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. Ah, throw dynamite. Ouais, ben je me casse. I'm out of here. Where is he? And in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Harden, just like I remembered him. Bientôt être à court de munitions si ça continue comme ça. Robert Olliger appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead.
Putain, il vise comme des... The Dalton brothers, Robert and Grattan, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought? Finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longaball. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before that you'd seen him alive. He was alive. Tout à fait ce que je voulais faire, ça marchera bien aussi comme ça. I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. It's not dead. Bon, la brute et le mourant. <rire> But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. Won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine, and so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Allez, vise bien. Et 
Et où est l'autre en fait là Ah non d'accord il fallait changer après Il faut d'abord que j'en tue un et puis que j'appuie sur E pour changer Carrément Ils avaient oublié ce détail Là-bas Faut que je tire Et ensuite il faudra que j'appuie sur E Si le truc veut bien viser quelque chose Bon, vous savez quoi, on va d'abord faire celui-là. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Et ça a quand même été, ça, ça a quand même été, je vais y arriver à bien parler, une victoire à la loyale. Allez, on continue. Je sais pas où on en est. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. <laughs> oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? Your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I, I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Vengeance. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Je mettrai l'autre juste après. Holy shit! Mullet, move against that wall. Go! Deux vieux qui s'affrontent. Et on voit même pas. Dans le cœur. Oh Kinétogramme, 1910. Ah. Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. 
But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You look a mite shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in <laughs> something like that this. Works. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir, huh, Mr. Greaves. So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? As I've sold my soul for it, and will never again walk with those I have lost. God of Juarez, Gunslinger. Won't you spare me over till another year? Ah, ok, bon, ils ont pas mis toute la chanson où ils chantent. Bah voilà, moi j'ai ai bien aimé, en plus c'est de l'humour. Ils ont fait des références, enfin voilà, c'est pour ça de toute façon que je voulais vous le montrer, parce que c'est sorti depuis déjà tellement longtemps ce jeu. Enfin bon, voilà, j'espère que ça vous a plu. Euh, sur ce je vous dis à la prochaine soyez heureux et juste après ça je vais rajouter euh, avec la rédemption et pas la vengeance allez soyez heureux Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army everybody knows that that's the legend but it ain't the truth So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? Your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I, I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along... Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm, uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob.